generate a transformation. Okay. Look up transformations also. We need this. Mm, yeah. Then the other one. It is like simply extracting. Extract jobs. So you can extract the male data, female data, or any other. So it is on a small task only. But we'll be using this one also. Taken the admit as a source, then we have to extract male and female data set separately using this extract transformation. So we are extracting some information or some rows, okay, not the columns. Columns is splitting, right? Splitting the data. So extraction is uh, conditions based on conditions where sex equal to male, where sex equal to female, like that. So we are using the condition, we are extracting the male data separately and female data separately. Okay, so we have transformations here and this we should move it to the target. SK customer October, right? Okay, I think this we created earlier. No need of this one. Yeah, then coming to transformation extract. So extract means, uh, so here in the class is P. We have male data and female data. So we should extract into two data sets, right? So we need two tables again, new table, male, in the target location. Uh, keep the same variables as in the source. Then create one more table, female, then the target library it is the same as in the mail male and female contains same variable names now make a job extract job so actually here we are just under trying to understand the environment and understand the transformation we are not doing a project here right we are just uh, getting the understanding then later we'll be working on project okay using making use of all these transformations so if i explain you directly the project then you will be in a confusion right uh, because what this transformation will do why we are using this transformation right so just to <clears throat> clarify all those doubts just we are trying to understand the environment initially okay then yeah so this is an extract job then class sp is the source then from the transformation Take the extract and we should give the conditions if we extract conditions then we should have male and female data also but table to table we need the loader okay loader loader slow like this then male and female female Mail connected, connected like this. Then save it. Then here extract condition. Okay. So first the data will be loaded into the work table. Then uh, from work table, it will be loading into the female and then male. So go to the properties then two conditions where where uh, here female right sex equal to female sex equal to female validate the expression is correct okay now mm, that's it okay Okay, then what happens See here, it will load only the male, right? Uh, actually, hmm, here uh, definitely you have to get one doubt. We are extracting the male and the male data is in this table, right? I mean female, I think we select the female. Then from this, it will load into female as well as into the male then. If you run it, what happens? Both the male and female contains the female data only, right? 
open the female so it's having the female data only so open the mail it is also having the female data only why because we extracted only once and loading into two tables right so we need two extractions right two extraction transformation means so so remove this one and connect like this then change the condition where mail yeah mail condition i used okay one see it is 3 again it is 4 it is 2 so here the control flow is wrong because what happens it will extract first then it will load the data using the table order from this one to this one so it's totally wrong so go to the control flow and check it so one then the table order should be two so this is a table order you just make it two no one two then three should be the extract yeah then three four yeah now it works done no error complete successfully then save it that's it now open the female it should have female then here obviously we'll get a doubt whether it is male or female so earlier it contains a male i mean female now it male because always it overwrites overwrites if you want to append also you can append instead of overwriting you can append because In the table loader, the properties will be like this: load technique. Load technique is replace entire table. Okay, so we are replacing. See earlier what we had done before this extract, the female get, data got loaded here in the male as well as in the female, right? But when I use this extract, and after uh, running this job, what happened? The male contains only the male, but earlier it contains the female. Then what happened to those female? Means those female in table entire table got replaced with the new table because we use this load technique what is it load technique replace so that way it replaced with the new values okay so instead of replacing you can continuously add also okay i mean we have some data in table so if you do some transformation then instead of replacing the table the values will be added to the table okay so that you need to choose in the table loader okay table loader properties so you have table loader properties there you need to choose okay that that i mean this one also will be discussing later yeah so this is one extract job